Less than a week after the opening of the temporary King Kamehameha III Elementary School in West Maui, officials are already hearing of odd odors and contaminated tap water. Nikki Shenfeld found out what the DOE is doing about it. Teachers at King Kamehameha III are sharing photos like this to let others know what the water looks like coming out of some of the faucets at the new temporary school. The uh, biggest problem that came to my attention when I um, sent an email out to staff was that the water in some of the faucets uh, smells like oil um, uh, or sewer and it's foamy. Um, they say many of them have gotten headaches from just being inside the rooms. There's a, a, a weird smell to some of the rooms. He says the cafeteria drinking fountain goes through a filter, but many are concerned if the water is tied to the same system. The picture that I um, gave you was from a, a classroom faucet and a lot of kids, you know, you know, that that faucet should be drinkable. Um, a lot of kids will, you know, fill up their water bottles from it. You know, I mean, they're just used to that. Um, and you would think after, you know, Red Hill, <laughs> we wouldn't have any. We would we would they would have checked the water in everywhere that it is. But here we are. The temporary school opened its doors on Monday. The build was under the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers before being handed off to the Department of Education. Senator McAlvey also heard the reports on Friday afternoon. And the smell of oil and sewer coming up. And it's very disconcerting that this is happening. These are kids. I mean, until it's proven safe, until the, and I'm talking safe as in you don't have noxious smells coming out or water looking like that, then quite frankly, they shouldn't be at the school. The county water director tells me he called the school today after hearing the reports and was told some places in the school smelled funny. Director John Snufflebean says the water is not hooked up to the county water supply and it's something coming from inside the campus. The Department of Education says they are working with the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers to investigate a potential issue impacting the water lines and says the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers water samples came back satisfactory to their standards. But staff have observed discolored water and an unusual odor coming from a few faucets on campus. The DOE says school will continue on Monday with hand washing stations and bottled water. They will also consult with the Department of Health for further guidance. Nikki Schoenfeld, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.